Now for some time there's been debate over whether Bailey are going to make an eight foot wide unicorn. Um, well the answer to that is yes and no. Uh, basically the unicorn will stay because today I'm at the launch of Bailey's new Alicanto Grande range. Uh, there are three models in the range. As the name suggests, they're all eight foot wide. So let me give you a quick look around now, a generic look before I go through each model individually. Now if I have the camera, we have things like an L-shaped kitchen. Now I'm gonna show you around each model individually in a minute, but I'll just do a quick run through a generic run through on this caravan just to show you the sort of differences and the changes that have been made. So this is the standard finish upholstery. Let me see if I can get a bit closer, there we go. This is standard, I'll show you the option in a minute. Now all of the lounges come with this wrap around seating here and the headrest which is fixed with poppers. Now that's in three corners. There is a splashback, so in case you're sat here and someone's washing up there, so you don't get covered. But, now this may change because if this is a pre-production model, this isn't sealed at the bottom. So I can only assume that there will be a clear bead of silicon along here so that the water doesn't run off and go down the back. Um, there's also a nice I quite like it, it's almost like a stained glass effect. Um, splashback, surround, call it what you will on the kitchen. Let me try and get a good angle with the camera. But I, yeah, I quite like that, I quite like that. Um, as you'd expect on a caravan like this, dual fuel hob with the cover that pops down like on the original Australian rangefinder. Separate grill, uh, oven. Lots of storage here in the kitchen. Now one of the funky features that I quite like is this fridge. So, have you ever opened your fridge and thought, oh, I've only opened the other way? Well, now both doors are the same. You can open it one way or the other. So just in case you didn't get that with the fridge, this way, if you're laying in bed, you think, do you know what I need? I need a beer. There you go. Or if you're in the lounge, I need a beer. Nice and easy. Um, all the beds are wider, so the extra width of the van, being an eight foot as opposed to seven foot six of the Unicorn, have larger beds. Now, obviously this is a transverse island bed, so it doesn't really, um, it doesn't change it too much width-wise here because it runs the way that it does, it's transverse. But when you pull the bed out, there we go, if need be, you can still sneak around there if you need a wee in the middle of the night and you sleep on that side of the bed. Um, now two of the models have end washrooms. Now these are broadly similar. I'll show you in a minute the differences, but there's a separate shower, basin, loo, large mirror. Uh, the only difference is on the twin bud model, obviously the door will be in the center. This one is on the end. So those are, oh, and the wood here, Mendip Ash. The wood in here is a lot brighter and lighter than the Unicorn. And also, there you go, there's me. There's the other side of that um, plastic bush. Um, mirrored in here. And I'm told that the radio here has all sorts of things. Yeah, it's Bluetooth as well. So. You know, if you want to play stuff from your phone, or whether you want to play stuff on CD, whatever, that's there, ready to go. The cupboard doors are curved. There we go, hang on. That's how much of a curve is on the cupboard doors. And as with the unicorns, so that your plates don't fall out of there when you're traveling and make a hole in there, there's a catch on the cupboard door. Right, let me show you now the outside. Now obviously it's wider. Unicorn seven foot six, this is eight foot. It has some funky new graphics, which personally I really like. Yeah, I do like that. 
Um, diamond cut wheels, which again, I believe the Unicorn has, uh, is it gray or silver? But anyway, they're painted. These are diamond cut. So talking of the wheels, it comes with Alco wheel locks. It has an external barbecue point, external electric point. And if I take you in here, the only optional extras are the change of upholstery. Again, this is standard. I'll show you the other one in a minute. And bedding. So the price you pay, pretty much, unless you want to buy the bedding set and change the upholstery in the lounge, that's it. That is all you'll pay. So this is the new Alicanto Grande Porto. Now this is the twin axle van with the center washroom and the, uh, the island bed at the rear. Now this is an eight foot caravan. So the thing you will notice is the amount of room down the side of the bed, even though you have a wider bed. Now obviously that's in the pulled at pushed back position. If you want to pull it out, hand under here, and the bed, obviously if I slid the mattress forward as well, will come out to the end of there. So it gives you a really large bed. But the most surprising thing for me is this center washroom. Now we have, um, we, we have a, a 760 Phoenix, which has a center washroom, but because this is eight foot wide, it does give it an awful lot more room here. Now our Phoenix is seven foot four. So to have that, uh, to go to eight foot, I mean, look at the extra room it does give you. So moving on to the lounge. That's my bag, by the way. So you have um, the wraparound cushions with the headrests that pop off. And you have them on each corner. And to make sure you don't get wet, if someone's doing the washing up, you have this splash back here. Uh, L-shaped kitchen. So you have um, another set of drawers down here, which is very handy for bits and bobs. Oh yeah, well the cupboard goes right round in there as well. Now, obviously, uh, being a top flight caravan, you have a dual fuel hob, separate grill and oven there. As well as the new surround at the rear of the kitchen. Uh, the funky fridge, which opens both sides. And that is a very quick view of the Alicanto Grande Porto. This is the Alicanto Grande Estoril. Now beginning with the lounge, it has the optional fabric. It also comes with the curved corner cushions and the headrests that are fitted by poppers. It also has the same curved cupboard doors, the wine rack and the same L-shaped kitchen. It also has the new sink unit, the splash guard and the new splash back. The Estoril is the twin bed model and as you can see the beds are wider as is the walkway between them. It has the funky fridge that opens both ways and it also has an end washroom. So this is the single axle Alicante Grande Sintra. Now, when I walk in, let me do that again, but let's point towards the bed. Just caught out the corner of my eyes, the amount of space you have here. Um, seems like you have acres in front of the kitchen around the bed as well. It actually looks smaller on camera than it is. Uh, into the washroom. So obviously the washroom goes full length of the rear. Huge long mirror, which you can see me in. Uh, basin toilet. But I mean, from the toilet, let's sit down on the loo. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, look how spacious that is. So again, you have a nice wide transverse island bed that pulls out. Um, so I'm guessing that would come to about here. So lovely big bed, funky fridge that opens both ways, lots of cupboard space above and to the side of the bed. 
So I don't think you're really going to have to argue as to who gets what and who sleeps, uh, who sleeps where. Um, again, wrap around. Seating in the lounge area, L-shaped kitchen, funky fridge, big bed, end washroom, lots of space. And that is the Alicanto Grande Sintra.